Hello, it is Friday, December 3rd, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. It's a Friday puzzle, our first themeless puzzle of the week, and um, probably straightforwardly challenging. Less weird and tricky, possibly, than yesterday's Thursday, which had those rebuses, which, again, I know many of you are not the biggest fans of, but it seems like actually people were uh, a little bit more accepting of the rebuses this time around. And there were a few other things that people commented on that I should that I should read to um, better inform myself about some of yesterday's clues. Kathy Swope says there are seven tarsal bones that make up the ankles. So this this was referring to um, I think some sort of tarsal adornment. It was an anklet, and I knew that the that tarsal had something to do with the foot, but I wasn't sure if it was a single bone or a group of bones. So it's a group of bones. And Kathy explains, the metatarsals are the thin bones between the ankle and phalanges, toes, that are relatively easily broken. So there we go, the tarsal bones. Vice Dibley explains that ice, whose meaning as deployed in this crossword was unfamiliar to me, says, ice is a term you might not be familiar with because it is used mostly in, surprise, surprise, sports. Icing a game normally refers to a situation where the team that's already in front by a little bit scores again late, thus putting the game beyond the reach of their opposition. Good knowledge. And James Draper says, you are correct that farfalle is the proper name for bowtie pasta. Farfalle is in fact Italian for butterflies. So perhaps we should be calling it butterfly pasta instead. That's very good. And it does look like a butterfly, little farfalle bowtie pasta. And finally, Robert Logan explains that CIO, which I interpreted as chief innovation officer, which is, I mean, that does get used. But anyway, he says it preceded CTO by decades and is still more in vogue as chief information officer. So uh, chief innovation officer may be a thing, but chief information officer might be what was intended in the crossword. I suppose it works either way, to be honest, chief information or innovation officer. But I do think a few people commented to say that information is the more common title. So thanks to Robert and anyone else who commented about that. Uh, before I get on to the crossword, I will mention that um, there's the new Twitter account, at The Daily Solve, where you can find updates about this series. And there's the Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash daily solve, which is linked in the description field underneath the video. And as a mug update, I've been informed that the this month's mug shipments uh, are going out. I think they're, they're being... Um, sent out imminently, and uh, I am being, uh, I should be charged for them today. The money that is used to produce them will be uh, taken out of my account, hopefully today. I'm hoping that happens as soon as possible so that they can be sent as soon as possible. And I, I part of the reason I, I hope that proceeds apace is because I am one of the people who will be receiving that mug. I have backed my own campaign in order to receive it, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll show you as soon as I get it. All right. And then the only other thing is that there's the um, Daily Serve Discord chat server, which you can join to hang out and communicate with other members of this community and chat about crosswords, other puzzles, crossword construction, and the like. So, uh, and then there's a link to that, of course, in the description field underneath the video, and patrons get an extra channel in there. With that, I think it is time to solve this Friday crossword. This puzzle was constructed by Claire Rimkis and edited, as always, by Will Shorts. This looks like a pretty classic Friday get Friday grid. We've got some some long answers in there, a fair amount of open space in the grid. So let's get started. Okay. This and that. Could be an oleo, which is sort of um you know, sort of a, a hodgepodge, a mix of things, but I'm not sure. God of fertility, agriculture, and the afterlife. I'm not sure offhand. I hope I'll see it with some crosses. And here we have Love Life Network. I have no idea. I've never heard of that. A cassowary kin. Oh, a cassowary is one of those sort of it's an awkward looking bird. What would a kin of a cassowary be? Let's look at the um, crosses here. Challenge while sitting. And here we have answer to the old riddle, what's round on the ends and high in the middle? Boy, I am, uh, 
I am not doing well in this crossword, am I? Play with fire could be take a risk or something. I mean, that would fit. It's just the first thing that came to mind. Um, but it's pretty speculative. So let's look at some crosses. Makeup, palette, assortment. Objectives. And yeah, I don't I don't think take a risk is right. Oops. Objectives could be aims or goals. What, why can't I do this? Okay. Um, yeah, objective could be aims or goals. No, it couldn't be goals. What am I talking about? Aims or maybe it's aims. And challenge while sitting. I suppose it could be a verb to challenge while sitting. And play with fire and blanks. Blanks could be blanks as in, you know, blank sheets of paper or uh, blank rounds in a firearm, but it could also be blanks as a verb, meaning sort of missed something, you know, missed. That doesn't look like anything useful is going to fit after that, but you know, blanked out, essentially. Fresh burst of energy and five star. Five star could be something, it could be a general, but it could be something really great. It could be top notch. Challenge while sitting. Answer to the old riddle, what's round on the ends and high in the middle? Round on the ends and high in the middle. Play with fire. Just seeing if I can get anything out of top notch. Gender, nesive, gender neutral possessive. Okay, here we go. Ones. Uh, one's brain is not functioning top, at a top notch level today, I might say. Out of office procedure. Out of office procedure. And there's a question mark. There's so some sort of pun or wordplay. So I wonder if this means an, an operation or medical op operation that's conducted not in a medical office, as opposed to the more the surface reading out of office, which which would suggest you aren't at your place of work, at the you aren't you aren't at work at the moment. Um, 72 answers and 34 black squares for this puzzle. Huh. Interesting. So it's not a theme, but there is something sort of meta-referential going on in this puzzle. 72 answers and 34 black squares. Are there 34 black squares? There are. There are 34 black squares. Um, and because this is... Uh, rotationally symmetrical. I just had to count one half of them and then uh, there were 17 in the top half. So um, I, don't, I don't know what that means, unfortunately, but a hankering could be an itch. You could have a hankering for something and itch for it. And does that help anything else? Doing something wrong. And then here we have a fresh burst of energy. Pick me up? No, it's, it's far too few letters. Boy, I'm. This is not going well. Corusates and class structures with a question mark. Blank R. Feels as though this could be lots of things. <laughs> um, Longtime newswoman Eiffel is Gwen Eiffel. This could end in ing, doing something wrong. Something bad. Vertical dimension of a flag. Ah, oh, boy. There's, there's so much specialized vocabulary around how flags are described, and I don't think I know pretty much any of it. Bops and blank are, I don't know about that. Off. Does that help at all? 
No, I don't think so. Oh, boy. Um, less likely to happen. Probably ends in an R. Out of office procedure. And you might seek forgiveness for this. Um... I don't know, a risk, I'm trying to think of something that is equivalent to a sin or something, but it could be being more clever than that. Holder of emergency supplies, a, uh, what, a go bag, maybe? Is that, does that fit? Corsates, glints, looks right there, I would say. And a giant in chip manufacturing. Oh, Lay's. The first, your first thought here would be um, computer chips, integrated circuits, or what have you. But I think maybe it means potato chips, crisps. Um, you, oh, I see. You might seek forgiveness for a loan. You might get loan forgiveness. And then a shade akin to royal blue. Shade akin to royal blue. And new parents purchase to block off staircases. Oh, purchases. Sorry, baby gates. There we go. All right. Finally found a part of the clue, a part of the grid where I can I can get some purchase. I can grab on. And that came up in the crossword a few days ago. When you're solving a tough puzzle or a puzzle that's striking you as tough in the way this is striking me as difficult at the moment, don't get too fixated on a particular part of the grid because the whole grid interlinks. So if you can make progress anywhere, it'll eventually help you somewhere else. Okay, covering some ground, question mark. I don't know, it could be snowing or sodding or something like that, putting down sod or turfing, maybe. None of those fit with the N here, which is why I removed that, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, what is this? 6 set in tennis slang. Oh boy, another, another bit of sports slang. Well, it's not icing, I know that, because that doesn't fit. Uh, empanadas and patatas bravas. Those are both uh, tapas, Spanish um, small plates, small plate dishes. Plate dishes, that was redundant. Shade, oh, shade akin to royal blue. Um, lapis, as in lapis lazuli, the um, stone, the uh, brilliant blue stone. Six O set in tennis slang. Yeah, I don't think I know what that is. Nice position to be in, question mark. And kid could be kid, a noun, a child, baby goat, or it could be to kid somebody to tease them. And it just gets by, it could be eeks by. So here's a case where we have this parenthetical explanatory word. And what that means is we're going to put that after both the answer and the, well, the clue and the answer, and it'll help them match a little bit more smoothly. So just gets would be sort of a strange synonym for eeks. You could argue that it makes sense, but it makes much more sense when you say just gets by or eeks by. All right. Ah, so that, that shows that kid a kid is a tyke, a young child. And nice position to be in. Kind of want this to be big or dig. Big looks right. A nice position to be in, question mark. So, I mean, nice position to be in, it might be a, a um, because of that question mark, it's some sort of pun or wordplay. So it's not the surface reading. So I think the surface reading would be a nice position to be in, in a sort of um, general sense. It's a nice position to be in. The situation you're in is good, but it may be that it's we're meant to read position to be more specific or more literal. It could be a position at a job. I guess it could also be, this could also be Nice, the French city, a Nice position. I don't think so. I don't think we'd see French words ending in IG like that. So probably not. Firmly fixed. I'm not sure. Let's, let's uh, check the crosses on baby gates. Whatever could be anything, any, could be any something. Happy to help. Yeah, maybe not. Pet that's mostly black with a white chest. Pet. That's mostly black with a white chest. Presumably a cat or a dog. Ellie Kemper's role on the office. 
I don't know. Could it be Ellie spelled differently somehow? Is that possible? I'm just trying to find women's names with four letters starting with an E. Blank money. This could be safe money, I guess. Happy to help. And kind of cup. That could be lots of things as well, to be honest. I mean, it could be a cup, um, a glass, a cup into which you pour a beverage. It could be a cup that's a, um, a trophy for a sports game. I don't know. Go to bat four. And San Blank, seat of San Fran- of California, San-, San Francisco. San Francisco is near this place. Seat of California's Marin County. Um, well, I happen to know this because I spent so much of my life in Northern California. San Rafael. Not San Rafael, as you might think, but San Rafael, as it's pronounced. 6-0 set in, at least I think it is San Rafael. Um, 6-0 set in tennis slang. Well, sorry. I know it's pronounced that way. I hope it's the actual. <laughs> I hope San Rafael is, in fact, the seat of Marin County. It's in that area. All right. To completely bomb could be to, well, could, I was going to say fail, but it's probably more likely flop. That that vocabulary is used more often with things that bomb, like a theatrical production or a film. To pop up, it could be, could be a rise. I mean, it could be a wake as well, but pop up seems a little closer to a rise. Everything one could possibly offer with the is world. The war, You could offer the world. And firmly fixed could be dead set, maybe? Nice position to be in. I'm still not seeing that for some reason. And I don't know what this 6 set in tennis slang is. Yeah, I just don't know. All right, well, that means that <laughs> this little corner here isn't going to help me anymore with this area over here because it's completely locked off, if you, if you see what I mean. In other words, the only communication into this central area from this southwest area is through this gap, and I've already filled it with Dead Set and San Rafael, so not getting any more anything else up here that's going to help. And similarly, this little straight here that that uh, runs along Baby Gates, Baby Gates is the only communication between these two uh, regions of the grid. So I'll have to get by with my own <laughs> wits, which isn't very encouraging based on how this has gone so far. Okay, its participants are in for a wild ride. Its participants are in for a wild ride. What does that mean? Not cool. Not cool at all. It could be warm, I guess. Does that fit? Five Guys Named Blank. 1992 Broadway musical. I don't know. It could be Five Guys Named Mo. It would fit. Its participants are in for a wild ride. Boy, I, I apologize if I'm missing obvious things left and right here. It would in no way surprise me if I were. Reverent could be respectful, though. The, oh, a rodeo. It's participants are in for a wild ride. Of course, it's a rodeo. Good Lord. I've attended one rodeo in my life. I was uh, visiting friends, parents with, well, a group of us went to stay at a uh, friend's parents' home in Montana, and I attended a rodeo for the first time. All right. Later, dude. This was a few years ago. Uh, anyway, later dude could be adios amigo, maybe. And a pro could be an ace. An orga- uh, organization at Grand Central Terminal. So Grand Central Terminal, uh, a beautiful, beautiful uh, railway and metro station in New York City, uh, would be um, host to the MTA, the um, Metropolitan uh, Transit Agency? Agency or administration? Probably agency. All right. Backcombed. Teased. I see. As you backcomb your hair, you tease your hair up. Some Twitter postings could be GIFs or GIFs, as some pronounce it. I pronounce it GIFs. I apologize if that bothers you. It's not intentional. It's just instinct, instinctive at this point. Uh, fuzzy could be vague. That's how I feel. My brain is vague and fuzzy solving this puzzle today. Not expired. If some if a voucher is not expired, it's valid. Mariah Carey and Madonna for two. I wonder if this is gay icons. It could be. And made last night could be day old. 
offerer of fresh cuts could be a deli, a delicatessen, fresh cuts of meat in this case. A kind of cup could be decaf, I don't know, a decaf cup of coffee. Seems a little bit vague. To go to bat for... Why am I not seeing that? That's that's very irritating. Whatever. So if we put any back in here, does that help? Oh, I see. As if I care. Ah, there we go. Happy to help could be sure. Kind of cup. Go to bat for, ah, defend somebody. See, some of these things are... I really feel as though I should have gotten them earlier. I apologize. Blank money, I see seed money, so an early stage investment. Ah, Ellie Kemper's rolling out. Must be Erin. That that is a woman's name that fits now that I have the overwhelming majority of crosses. And a kind of cup, I see a Dixie cup. It's a brand. I wasn't really looking, I wasn't thinking about a brand name, but Dixie is a brand of plastic or paper. I think maybe they make both disposable cups. And a pet that's mostly black with a white chest. Well, tuxedo makes sense because it's mostly black with a white chest, but I don't know. Is it? A, I assume cat. It seems more likely than tuxedo dog, but I guess this is why I didn't get this answer earlier because I don't think I'm, I'm familiar with this animal. Uh, ah, yes. And here we have O oh, to be in France. That would be the verb. It's This literally means how to say to be in France, and that is the verb être, E-T-R-E, to be. All right, a brand that offers leg mask products. Um, well, I'm not familiar with leg mask, but I wonder if this somehow is Nair, the brand that is a, a portmanteau of no and hair, no hair. Ah, and here we have blank oil extract obtained from the Amazon rainforest. I think it's actually been quite a while, possibly months, since we've seen our old friend Acai. I assume that's what this is. Usually... Uh, usually clued with some reference to a berry, but in this case, the oil that I guess is obtained from the berry, I don't know. One of nine for a traditional Baha'i temple. Side, I would think, and then does that, yes. Pirate's activity is a raid. So we have nine sides, a pirate raid, and indeed, acai oil extract obtained from the Amazon rainforest. All right, so this this sort of diagonal uh, half of the puzzle bore a lot more fruit a lot more acai fruit than, than this bit up here in the northwest half. So let's see if we can make any progress. So I don't know that we've actually looked at all of the downs, though, have we? Um, all right. Gets, no, I don't think so. Gets to. So gets to could be arrives at. It could also be is able to. Or it could be a noise, actually. That may be the most likely. It could be something like irks. It really gets to you. It irks you. Actress Mara of Pose. I don't know. Don't think I know this actress or this film or television program. Could be Kate, though. That's probably the most likely name to start with a K in four letters and refer to a woman. Uh, many a Guinness Book record. Um, could be a stat, I suppose, although that doesn't really look great here scans say it could be reads and less likely to happen oh i see it could be iffier yeah i suppose so and many a guinness book record is a feat a nice position to be in what is this i spell something else wrong it doesn't look like it go bag lapis Tyke, dead set. I'm sorry if you're yelling at me about this. Steady, nice position to be in. Steady, oh, a steady gig. I see. And then 6-0 slang, 6 set in tennis slang is a bagel. Okay. I didn't know that. There's no way I would have known that. But steady gig is a nice position to be in. I see. Because it's steady. You don't have to worry about the, um, it's not very uh, insecure. All right. Blanks, I see. So blanks does mean draw a blank in this case. Has no idea. Right. And then play with fire is to tempt fate. Okay, it's all coming together. A makeup palette assortment could be an assortment of tones of the palette. And an out-of-office procedure. I'm still not sure. Let's just see if we can finish off this area. This and that. 
this and that. Hmm. And challenge while sitting and cassowary can. Oh, Araya. That's another one of those sort of awkward looking birds, I believe. And then answer to the old riddle, what's round on the ends and high in the middle? Oh, I've never seen this before. It must be Ohio. I never would have arrived at this without, without these crosses. Never, ever, ever. So the, the ends of Ohio are O's. And in the middle is a hom homophone of high, which is H-I, high. So round on the ends and high in the middle. Good Lord. I've never heard that one. <laughs> okay. I see. This and that is both. It was much more straightforward than I was making it. That's annoying. And a challenge while sitting, brat. What does that mean? Is Ray wrong? <laughs> I don't think so. What does that mean? I'm sorry. I, I had I've had a couple of these recently where I've I've gotten something right, or I think I have, and I've just been unable to figure out why it's correct. What does that mean? Challenge while sitting, brat. Well, I guess it's no surprise that I didn't get this corner earlier. I mean, <laughs> between brat and Ohio. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's right for some reason. Let's, I, I'm very sorry if it's very obvious to, to all of you. I'm sure I'll have plenty of comments by tomorrow explaining it to me. All right, so 72 answers and 34 black squares for this puzzle. I suppose that could be the total number of answers and the total number of black squares. I mean, I don't know, could it be the specs, the specifications of this puzzle? That could be. Oh, could the god of fertility, agriculture, and the afterlife be Osiris? I wasn't thinking of, of Egyptian gods, but maybe. Quintana Blank, Mexican state that's home to Cancun. Oh, I'm actually not sure. Spot for the night. And covering some ground. I guess this could be sodding. Class structures with a question mark, so some sort of pun as well. And here we have a fresh burst of energy. Oh, a second wind. There we go. Should have gotten that one sooner as well. Out of office procedure. Oyster? Doesn't look right. Doing something wrong. And spot for, oh, it could be an inn, a spot for the night. I see somewhere to, to stay for the night. Oh, up to no good. Of course. Oh, I see. And an out of office procedure is an ouster. That's very clever. Um, you're, you're, um, an ouster, you're ousting somebody. It's a procedure that puts them out of the office that they hold. You're forcibly ejecting them from that office. So this, this does look like sodding. Okay. So one of my early guesses was right, but I guess I, at the time I didn't know which, which of those fairly similar terms it could have been. And vertical dimensions of dimension of like, oh, could it be the hoist? That sort of, that sounds sort of plausible. That would make sense because you you hoist a flag. I could see how those words could overlap. Love life network. I have no idea. Bops could be conks on the head, and class structures. I see class structures, desks, literally structures, constructions inside of a class at a school. All right, and this is odds are. H C O. I guess this could also be bonks. Could H B O have? HBO is a network, so that maybe seems more plausible than HCO. I don't know. I've never heard of Love Life. Let's try it. There it is. All right. That's the puzzle. So, boy, I mean, I think this is a great... I honestly think this is a great puzzle, even though I struggled <laughs> considerably with it throughout. I mean, it's one of those puzzles where, even though I struggled enormously, I'm either... <laughs> Very sort of amused by the response with something like Ohio, which I never, I never would have known. And also more annoyed at myself than at the puzzle for not seeing the things I didn't get. I mean, odds are I probably could have guessed that that was an option earlier. You might seek forgiveness for a loan is very clever. Um, there, there, uh, many Guinness book record of defeat. That's, that's quite straightforward. Um, but there were things I wish I would have gotten earlier that weren't quite so straightforward. 
I guess like Ty Kid, Tyke, and some of the longer ones like As If I Care, Up To No Good, and Second Wind. I wish I would have thought of those at least as options earlier. I did get Top Notch pretty quickly and didn't necessarily know that it was correct, but really wanted something to be correct. So once I saw ones for gen general neutral possessive, um, I think that that locked it in for me. Um, and some some very good punny cluing here. Nice position to be in is a steady gig. Um, class structures are desks. That's very good. I mean, there there were quite a few things like that in this puzzle. And I, I did, I really enjoyed those. Um, let's see, there were some tough crosses for sure. I would say up here, well, I found this to be tough. I, Cassowary Kin Rhea, I was familiar with that once Once I had enough of the, a couple crosses, but I still don't know what challenge while sitting brat is. What does that mean? Boy, it's very frustrating when I can when I have something like this where I I it's clearly correct, but I just don't know what it means. I think it's the only thing in this puzzle I feel that that way about. I think I understand everything else in the puzzle. It's just that one, but boy, strange. Anyway, that aside, <laughs> um, I can't really fault the puzzle for that if it's just something that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, I thought this was a very, very good puzzle. I really liked it and I I, I enjoyed the challenge I was getting throughout. And I'm really relieved I didn't end up getting stuck for an inordinate amount of time in any particular place. I am glad that I was able to essentially continue solving throughout, even if I had to um, skip a number of answers. But but I, I thought this was I thought this was well constructed with a, a, quite a few very clever clues that I wasn't uh, I wasn't quite on their level as as often as I wish wish I were. Anyway, uh, how did you fare? It, I, I could imagine this being quite a tricky one. I mean, I did find it to be on the tricky side. So let me know. Let me know how you fared. And if you enjoyed the puzzle, and I guess more importantly, if you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe. We're closing in on 4,000 subscribers. I wonder if I can find out how precisely how close I am to that figure. Hey, look at that. I'm actually quite close. I'm at 39 92, only eight away from 4,000. So you could be the one to tip me over today or tomorrow, presumably. I don't, I usually only get, I'm usually going, only gaining a few um, subscribers a day. So this campaign must be working. So thank you. Thank you if you have subscribed. Anyway, and if you would, uh, if you're, if you're willing to, why not pass it along to somebody else? They could subscribe and we can cross over that, that arbitrary, meaningless barrier a little more quickly, or pass it on to your online community of choice. That helps as well. Word of mouth is the only, it's the only tool I have. So um, thank you to everyone who's to spread, spread the word about this thing. And if you particularly enjoy this series and you'd like to be invested in its ongoing sustainability, consider donating to the Patreon campaign, where in return for a few pounds a month or the equivalent in your local currency, you can get access to the wealth of bonus video solves that is already present on the Patreon feed, as well as the bonus video solves that go up every single week, such as the um, mini puzzle speed solve weekly runs. And I'll do another, I, I'm due one of those today, actually, it's Friday, which means it's time to um, solve a bunch of mini puzzles. So I'll, I'll do that soon and the Boss Words Fall Themeless League competition puzzles. And I've not yet solved this week's, which I think is the sort of championship puzzle, which probably means, probably means it will be particularly brutal, which is not, not uh, pleasant to imagine. But that'll be up there soon as well. And um, uh, anyway, oh, and the uh, monthly bonus puzzle. Ah, that reminds me. It's December. It's a new month. So there will be a new monthly bonus puzzle from the New York Times. I'll have to solve that as well. Anyway, all of that, plus that additional access to the uh, Daily Serve Discord chat server is available at the Patreon campaign, and there's a link in the description field underneath the video to both the Discord server and the Patreon. And uh, finally, before I close this video for the day, some people who contribute to the Patreon campaign at a particular level are entitled to be thanked personally at the end of these videos because I very much... I really do very much appreciate their uh, support. And today, I would like to thank Jake Rodkin, as well as, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you, Jake. Thank you, Hood Monster, for your ongoing support. I very much appreciate it. And um, 
I think that's it. I think that's it for today. So thanks for joining me for the Friday solve. I hope you'll be back for the Saturday solve. <laughs> could be a little tougher than today's. I hope it's not dramatically more difficult to today's because that that could be quite a challenge indeed. But um, you never know. The difficulty level of these puzzles is so variable per person per day. And I do hope you'll join me for that solve. Until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care.